I'm wearing the 350Z. Cal is here to help me. And um, Cal's gonna do me the honors real quick of opening up this package. We're starting on everything on the uh, 350, guys. We're gonna start building it ASAP like Rocky. And this is a package from um, Torque Solutions, guys. So if you guys don't know Torque Solutions, they make a really, really good um, short shifter. But this is the uh, short shifter right here, guys. Check that out. This is from Torque Solutions. So if you guys want one of these, want to cop one, like if we get the hardware as well. Um, really, really simple to install. I'll show you guys how in just a minute. But um, these give you like a 33%, I believe, something like that, or 27%. Uh, <laughs> look at Cal's hair. That, hey, his hair looks dope, huh? It looks better than black. Uh, I'm gonna, should I do mine too or no? Do it for Yeah? <laughs> we could be the twins. Anyway, um, this is a Torque Solutions uh, short shifter. We're gonna throw it in here because um, the short shifter right now that we have, I mean, or not even short shifter, but the stock shifter is, f is whack, bro. It's like, the bushings are out. It needs more grease and stuff. So like, it's just horrible. I, I don't like the feel of it at all. So, we're going to start removing everything, and I already pre-loosened the uh, shift knob. So, this is the ugly-ass knob, and we got another knob for it as well. So, stay tuned for that. Um, this thing is ugly, raggedy, and it doesn't even feel good. This piece right here, mm -hmm. I kind of just tug on it like that, just like so. And then we'll kind of pull this up right here. And then you got, on the back side, there's a clip that you got to remove. It's for the AC, this one right here. I don't know if you guys can see it at all. But we're just gonna remove that real fast. Ah, there it is. Now we got uh, four bolts. We got one, two, three, four, and those are all 10 millimeter bolts. We're gonna get those off. We got our extension with our uh, 10 millimeter socket ratchet right here. Loosen all of them. Now we just pull up on this and Make sure to keep those bolts. Make sure to keep the dust boot as well. That comes off just like so. We're gonna set this aside, just like that. Now we have another dust boot right here. We're gonna pull that off as well, just like that. Keep that, put it to the side. Now you have three more 10 millimeter bolts. All right, last one there, set that one aside. And then you're gonna keep this plate right here. And the only thing that I didn't do was get a new, um, one of these right here, these plates right here, this little, um, like, pivot ball i guess you guys could say but i'm gonna reuse it and um it should be fine my dumbass forgot that you have to um actually remove the bolt from the bottom but uh this is how it comes out real quick so this is how it goes you got to keep the spring as well maybe in the future i'll buy another spring like a stiffer spring but for right now i'm gonna keep this one now i just gotta remove this pivot ball all right guys so um old shifter is right here you guys can see it's all greasy and old and ugly um you guys see the pivot ball is right here i told you guys i forgot to buy one so um we're gonna reuse this one i'm gonna grab this uh -huh. give me the hammer i'll hit it and cal's gonna help me with the hammer there it is there it is so that's exactly how we were able to remove it as well and there you guys see pivot balls in working now all i'm gonna do is one side of the car all right, guys, I'm going to be putting the ring for the spacer since Mark's on the bottom. I'm going to throw it Take out the spring first. On the, under the spring. And I'm going to put the spring on top. All right, so it's kind of hard to see under here, but right up in there, that's where the shifter meets. I'm going to put the bolt through, screw it in, and um, we'll be good after that. On the pivot ball, there's also this little um, thing right here. It aligns. It's like a, like a same thing as this. knob little i don't know but it goes right in there so we'll throw that in like that set that in just like that and now with, with, with the boot we'll throw this boot on all right next uh we got the other boot other boot goes right over it as well goes back on real fast beat the baby Fit the baby. Fit the baby. Now we're connected. Make sure this is in. All right, we're in there. Slide her down. All right, so that's the Mishimoto. So this thing comes with different adapters for different applications, and we're gonna find which one is ours right now. Yep. That's that. Um, next mod we're gonna do 
We have a package right here. And then we got a package right down here from NRG, guys. So we got this package from NRG, guys. This is a steering wheel. So for being such an affordable um, company, they have a, like a nice ass box actually. Like it's quality, it's thick, it's durable. Your stuff's not gonna break in there. So um, let me pull out the steering wheel for you guys. This is the steering wheel we chose guys. NRG Innovations. Comes with a little yellow. See that? Sauce, crisscross applesauce. Comes with a little yellow marking for the middle of the steering wheel. And uh, yes, guys, we're going with NRG. We're going with a steering wheel that has yellow to match the outside of the car. You guys already know, let me see. Let me see. Look at that. <whistles> Matches pretty well. So, um, we're gonna get to installing this. We're gonna get um, the other package open which is the hub guys so if you guys don't know to mount the steering wheel you have to have a hub and a quick release if you want a quick release at least um i always want a quick release so i can remove the steering wheel whenever i want makes my life a lot easier so um i don't know if you guys like that or not i spend the extra cash on it just because i like the um the ease of use kind of i guess you guys could say um but let me set you guys right there i'm gonna set the steering wheel down let me get my key right here Open this up. All right. So, um, coming little boxes here, NRG boxes. I wait. So this is the hub right here guys, Sauce NRG, it's going to be the quick release guys, I got the all black, I'm pretty simple, I'm a simple man, so um, we're going to be using this, all black, now on the sides right here, has his little uh, tabs, alright so there's one, we're going to set that aside make sure it's safe. Right up in there, I don't know if you guys can see it well or not, but that requires a, a T30 with that little hole in the, in the top, the little circle, or the little star bit with a little circle opening on top. And we're just gonna get our ratchet. Okay. I hate that they use special bits. But good thing I invested. And I don't have to be running to the store. There it is. And then this pops off just like so. And now we are free of the airbag. So I'm gonna set this aside. All right, so next what we're gonna do is remove this uh, 19 mil bolt right here, just like so. Get our breaker bar real fast and break this thing loose. Once that is done, we will be able to remove the steering wheel completely and uh, be that much closer to installing the NRG hub, quick release, and steering wheel. So let me knock this loose. Turn the key. Just like so, you guys saw that? That wasn't tight at all, to be honest. I kinda got it loose fast. All right. So now I'm just gonna make, this, make sure the steering wheel is completely, completely straight. All right. All right, 19 mil bolt is out. All right, just like so. You gotta give her a little tug, but she's out now. Good for us. Now we get rid of that ugly, ugly ass steering wheel. And uh, out with the old. Let's move in with the new, guys. Dang, that thing is super jank, super ugly. 
Look at that. Can't wait to get the new one in. Alright guys, just like that, steering wheel, hub, quick release, all set, looking so good, check that out, what do you guys think, comment down below, yeah, I'm super stoked, I'm gonna give you guys another look real quick, I'm gonna get out of the car, um, let's... okay, kinda need two hands for this, check it out, Sass. Yes, sir. Now when I get out, so much easier, so much more room. Yee. I'm super happy on that. I always love quick releases in my cars. Makes life so much easier, guys. Um, you guys are in the market for one. Link is in the description for everything. Quick release hub, um, steering wheel. The interior is changing dramatically. If you guys are excited for the future, we're changing this car like drastically, very, very quickly. So do me a favor, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, bottle. I'm doing all this real fast on a budget, guys, and it's looking so, so good. So hook me up. All right, so everything is in, installed. It looks so good with the shifter, the black on black. Uh, next, we need a hydro, um, some new seats, uh, but that'll be in the near, near future, guys. Uh, if you guys wanna see some stuff like that happen, go drift this car, um, go do some donuts, burnouts, and stuff like that. All I need you guys to do is subscribe to the channel, Hit the like button. Moment of truth. Let's see if uh, the horn works. Yes, sir. Horns never work in these things. So I'm um, super excited about that. So guys, this is like four weeks in the future. Three weeks, maybe. I don't know exactly. But um, installs are complete. Steering wheel's completely done, tightened up. And so is the shifter and the shift knob as well. Everything is feeling good. Check out this interior. Tell me that ain't looking super, super good in here, bro. It looks super, super good with like the exterior color. Like... Oh my God, bro. I'm not even trying to exaggerate right now, but I'm digging it. I love it. Like I'm taking it all in right now. And uh, in the sunlight, it, it just looks, oh my God. But um, we still have much more work to do to this car. So stay tuned. If you guys are excited for the future of this car, give the video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. And you guys could also turn on the post notifications for me. Like I said, everything is completely installed. I'm sorry for lagging on this video. I'm sorry for um, lagging on all, all my videos, but damn, bro. Thing is looking super super good so we're gonna wrap up today's video here stay tuned for the next one we're gonna review short shifter and see if everything's gucci see how we like it see if it's better than stock um we're gonna review how the shifter feels in my hand whatever whatnot if i like it or not i'll be dead honest with you guys and uh, also the steering wheel do i like it or not i know i like the look of it am i gonna like it on the road um stay tuned for that video and without further ado we're gonna wrap it up here i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe peace